the first type of recurrence relation which is the first order recurrence relation this is the type 1 which is representing the first order first order recurrence relations first order recurrence relations okay so we have the first order recurrence relation we'll take a simple example example we have the recurrence relation is a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n and such that a of 0 is given as 1 okay see there are multiple ways of solving these kind of recurrence relations for example we may try to solve this recurrence, recurrence relation by using the master's theorem uh, which if you have already studied the algorithm subject you must have studied the master's theorem we may try to solve this recurrence relation by a method called as the back substitution but here in this subject i'm trying i'll try to solve these recurrence relation by using another method uh, that method uh, will be you know uh, will be, will be tr uh, trying to find the roots of this equation then we'll try to solve this recurrence relation now just for a uh, you know, revision purposes let me try to solve this is uh, this recurrence relation by back substitution so here you can see we uh, they have given that we have a n plus one is equal to two a n okay a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n. I am trying to solve it using back substitution. Back substitution. Okay. So, if you have a n is equal to a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n. Now, you can see if you if you try to find the value of a n. That means if you try to find the value of this a n. For that purposes, wherever you have n plus 1, try to substitute a n in that, in that location. So, for the value a n will become 2 a a n minus 1 right now if you try to find the value of a, a of n minus 1 wherever you have a, or, you know original equation where you, wherever you have n plus uh, n you try to substitute a n minus 1 in that scenario in that ca case so you will be a n minus 1 can be written as 2 a n minus 2 further you can find the value of 2 a n minus 2 and so on now if you try to substitute these values then this equation can be written like this a n plus 1 is equal to 2 a n try to substitute the value of 2 a n so it is 2 into 2 a n try to substitute the value of again a n so it is 2 into 2 sorry this is uh, 2 a n minus 1 this is 2 a n minus 1 then it is if you try to substitute the value of a uh, a n minus 1 so it is 2 a n minus 2 then again you can try to substitute this value so it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 a n minus 3 and so on right till you can find 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 up to so on 2 a n minus k now you will try to expand it you can try to expand it to at any uh, place position will not be able to eliminate it you can only eliminate this term a n minus k if you can see if you can make this term as a of 0 why I'm saying a of 0 because they have already given the value of a of 0 so we can see we can expand it till uh, kth term and such that let k is equal to n such that the value of k will become n so this equation will become 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 up to so on to a n minus n right so if it is a of n minus n till that time how many times the 2 is repeated you can clearly see here it is uh, 2 square a n minus 1 here it is 2 cube a n minus 1 so I'm just trying to evaluate the value of this equation so we, I could have written it here so uh, let me write it here so it is 2 square a n minus 1 it is 2 cube a n minus 2 uh, this is 2 raised to power 4 a n minus 4 it is 2 raised to power k a n minus k and if the value of a is k is n so it will become 2 raised to power n a 0 right and we already know the value of a 0 they have given so you can substitute this value and you can find the value at of this equation which is equal to a raised to power uh, 2 raised to power n right so this way it's uh, this example was very simple and finding the roots for th this example were ve was very easy 
But if you take some complex equation, then we'll not be able to find the roots of those complex equations in such an easy manner. For example, if an equation like this, uh, that is a f equation for Fibonacci series, that is a of n can be written as a of n minus one plus a of n minus two. Now solving this equation becomes a quite tedious task. If you know that a of zero is zero and a of one is one, so we'll try to solve such kind of equation. For that, we have to create a form. We have to formalize a method. Okay, so we'll try to solve the same equation which we solved in the previous case, and we'll try to solve it in our uh, second method uh, by you know we'll, we'll take the help of discrete mathematics for that. If uh, the equation is like find a of n plus one is equal to two a n such that a of zero is equal to one, we'll try to solve it. So for that purpose, the, the procedure will be like this. Procedure will be like this. First of all, we'll tr try to find the linear equation. We'll try to find the linear equation. Now, from that linear equation, we'll try to find the roots. We'll try to find the roots, and from that root, uh, because it is a first order uh, recurrence relation, first order linear homogeneous recurrence relation. That is for the equation solution equation will be given by a n is equal to capital A r raised to power n. Right, so capital A R is power, and so in this complete equation, we have to find A, and we have to find R, where R is the root. Okay, so let us try to solve the above equation. So this is the equation they are giving. So it is A of n plus one is equal to two A n. Okay, now in this equation, uh, we will find the root. So to find the root, we have to substitute. We have to eliminate this value. Uh, so let us make let let a of n plus one is equal to r raised to power n plus one. So whenever we have to write a of n plus one, I'll write r raised to power n. Therefore, a n will will become r raised to power n. It's therefore, therefore, this above equation will become r raised to power n plus one can be written as two r raised to power n. Now you can see in the both sides uh, we have r raised to power n in power. So we can you know uh, divide both left hand side and the right hand side with r raised to power n, or you can write it like this. R raised to power n into R is equal to 2 R raised to power n. From this R raised to power n, this R raised to power n can be cancelled. So you can see the value of R will become 2. Now, the, if the value of R will become 2, you can substitute this value into this equation, so that a value will become a n is equal to capital A 2 raised to power n, capital A 2 raised to power n. Now that is uh, that is the equation which we are trying, we are getting. Okay, so uh, this is uh, now from this equation you can clearly see they have already given us the value of a of zero. Uh, we know the value of a of zero is one. So in in this equation, if you try to put n is equal to zero, so this equation will become a of zero is equal to a of two raised to power zero. And two raised to power zero is one. So you can write it as a of zero is equal to a. We have two equations. This is the first equation which is already given. This is the second equation which we found out. So if we are trying to, if we'll try to equate these two equations, you can see a is equal to one. So because a is equal to one, it's the third equation. Now you can substitute the value of a is equal to one into this equation. Substitute the value of a is equal to one into this equation. So the equation which we are going to get is a n is equal to a. 2 raised to power n. We know the value of a, so we can write it as a n is equal to 1 into 2 raised to power n, which is equal to 2 raised to power n only, which is equal to 2 raised to power n only. Therefore, this way you try to solve this recurrence relation, uh, not by doing the back substitution. Okay, so we got the linear equation here, and uh, we'll just try to solve this recurrence relation like this. Now let us take few more examples of this kind of uh, uh, recurrence relations. Uh, I'll take two or three more examples, and then uh, we'll move on to the next topic, which is a second-order recurrence relation. I think uh, it, this is so simple; it is not at all complicated. Just by taking two example, I think uh, the topic will be clear. Okay, don't worry.